My people, how far? How on a day? Waiting the shell. My name is Naikena from Smiling Sun. Everything, solar installation, everything, inverter installation, everything going green. And today I'm excited, like I'm always excited when it comes to solar installation because it's a beautiful thing. I mean, providing power for homes. That's what we do for a living, right? And we are here to provide power for this home. Uh, for the gentleman who owns this property, he just completed the building. So you can see all around you, there's still lots of tits on beats. The carpenters are still working here. The um, plumbers are working. The tilers are working. And then again, he has made a very good decision because he's a very wise man. And he says, I want an icing on the cake. I want to provide 24 hours power supply for this beautiful home. And he approached, reached out to Smiling Sun. And I will say, why not? Let's provide you with a grid that is going to guarantee 24 hours power supply for this beautiful home. And I've had the pleasure of touring this beautiful home home with its embellishment you need to get in here it's quite a beautiful home all right when i don't they ready make sure they see us with the configure them <laughs> you're not already all right come let me show you guys what we're going to be using okay uh we're going to be using this um, monocrystalline solar panel it's a half cut all right so it's 465 watts um solar panel so that's what we're going to be using so we have um 18 pieces of it so it stacks nine here and nine the other side all right so that's what we're going to be using and i've personally used this for a lot of installation and i know this my second name for this solar panel is flames because it's crazy man <laughs> all right so the other one so if you guys are going to come with me this is the second part of the solar panel so you also have nine stacked here so they are all 465 watt solar panel these are crazy solar panels and we have nine the other side and I tell people all the time, one of the things that are very, very important in your installation is make you make sure, say, na correct components now you they use. Because if you don't get correct components, sorry, oh, anything where you they do, na rubbish, oh. So you suppose they use better components. So once you have the right quality components, you have the beautiful solar panels, you have good inverters, you have good batteries, I guarantee you that your installation is going to be very successful. So are you guys ready? So if you can come to, let's check out what we still have. All right. So, so this is like a little house where he has, where he's going to be storing some things. And he's also going to be using here for the solar installation. So this is what we're going to be using, man. These guys are like my favorite. <laughs> All right, so we're going to be using this Jinko lithium batteries. All right, so each of them is 5.1 kilowatts. So approximately 5,100. So we have four pieces of this. And one of the reasons why I also wanted to make this video is to show you guys how to parallel the lithium battery, how to do the slave and master thing, right? To be able to use one of the lithium battery to control all of them, to ensure that they have uniform charging and uniform discharging, that everything that is working here works all in uniform to ensure that um, the, the lifespan of this lithium battery is preserved and it works perfectly the way it should. All right, so that's basically what we're gonna be using. So if you're gonna come close to, um, we're gonna be using this Fang Pusen. All right, so we're gonna be using this Flex Max. <laughs> this is a crazy guy, I call him the mad dog. <laughs> Cause this guy is pretty very good. All right, so it's an industrial grid charge controller, strictly for the professional. So if you're not a professional, you don't have any business with this uh, fan person, all right, because it doesn't give you the default settings for you to select uh, the type of batteries that you're using. And then we're using this most specially designed, almost customized. It's a very beautiful inverter, something that is going to guarantee that you have that rugged transmission of power always, because at some times, you might not have the grid at all. So you need to depend on this inverter to run the powers 24 hours of the day. All right, so that's something to look out for. And all right, so somewhere, get time where we say the man been do in own solar panel. So he, now this one ain't been used before. It's an 80 ounce Felicity. Um, it's not bad. So instead of putting it to waste, we're gonna combine this with the Fang person. All right, to be able to control the energy that is gonna be coming in from the solar panels. All right, so we're gonna be using this. So it's not a bad charge controller too. So we're about getting ready. We need you to follow us the entire time so that you can see the entire process of installing all the SPDs, installing the solar panel. So if you haven't subscribed guys, please kindly support us because that's the very best you can do for us. That's how you support this work that we're doing and all this information that we're getting for you. We will fully appreciate it. Don't forget to comment, don't forget to share and do not forget to like. Let's get going guys. All right, 
so the inverter is firmly in place <laughs> okay so it don't make sense abby <laughs> oh yeah maybe we check out with this plum now maybe we know whether it did straight all right ah correct it did straight so now that this is firmly in place we're going to move on to the next stage which is stacking up the um uh, the lithium battery right here so this is where we decided it should be right underneath the inverter so that's where it's going to be so let's start that already so let's move this to be able to create space from here all right so so this in itself it doesn't need any any um, tightening of bolts and all of that. So you just stand the two of them straight. You can see what we're doing. So you stand the two of them, it's the same height, and then you slide each of the batteries. So it's built in cabin. So you see that the batteries would all slide inside of this, um, this rack. All right, so this is um, firmly in place. So we have this put out now, so it's all neatly arranged in the rack the way it's meant to be. So the next one, what we're gonna do now, now to begin to hang the charge controllers on the wall. So once we have the charge controllers on the wall, then we begin to put in the SPDs, the trunking, just to pretty much make it look good. So once we are done, then we'll now power the building. But of course, we're gonna be showing you what's going on on the roof, because I have my guys at the roof right now. So we're doing two in series, because the solar panels are 465 watts each. The maximum PV input of this charge controller that we intend to use is 150 volts. So uh, we don't have any choice but to, <laughs> but to make it two in series, all right? So that's basically what we're gonna be doing here today. Okay, so right now we're going to the manhole to be able to fasten our safety devices to uh, to the framings of the roof to ensure that nobody dies today. <laughs> All right, so I'll take you guys straight to the manhole. Here is where the manhole is located. Okay, so somewhere in here. So it's a pretty, it's a bit dark in here, so we need to ensure that we're able to fasten it. I'm trying to get the charge controller mounted on the wall. So for me to be able to do that, I had to uh, remove the cover so I can do the marking. So now that I have the markings done, uh, let me go ahead and puncture the holes on the wall. Once you have it, you need to recheck. So right beside it is going to be the second charge control. Okay. We are prepping up right now to start taking up the solar panels to the roof. All right, so you can see my guy is up on the roof. That's Oliver right there. That dude is a marksman. <laughs> So it's getting ready, all the safety devices all in place to ensure that uh, to avoid any form of accident. All right, so this is pretty much the best view I can from here. So very soon the solar panels will begin to climb up. We intend to make use of two sides of the roof. So we're gonna put half, which is nine pieces on one side of the roof and nine pieces on the other side. So we will use nine to trap the rising sun and use the other nine to trap the sunset and onward. Let's try to parallel the lithium batteries that we have here. So we have four units of 5.1 kilowatts. That's approximately 20.4 kilowatt. So um, you would either do it in two ways. You can divide the two units of the battery in two or you can do everything together. All right, so if you parallel everything together, you will definitely have to make this guy the master and this rest the slave, which means you can control the lithium battery from here 
and it runs through and controls these guys ensures that the BMS is functioning properly in case of temperature, over voltage, charge and discharge current. So, but today I'm gonna do a different style of configuration as opposed to making this the master and the rest slave. I'm gonna make two of the units to all stand as a unit. So we're gonna have one master, one slave, one master, one slave. All right, so let's do that connection now. So in trying to parallel lithium battery, it's actually the ease of the wiring and the configuration is what I love a whole lot about the lithium battery, all right? So I love the ease of wiring. It's a different ball game when you have to connect tubular batteries. It's a whole lot of mess <laughs> in wiring. But when you configure or parallel the lithium batteries, it's so much fun, all right? So let's look at it, how it's gonna be done. So in here, um, it's like more like a pin. So when you push this in to the lithium battery, you will definitely hear a click. Did you hear that? <laughs> There's always a click. Then you connect it to this guy here. All right, so you connect this. So this two is parallel right now. So that's the life. So let's do the neutral because the life is already um, connected. Also connect these two guys. All right, so this is a life cable that is gonna to go to this junction. We'll pull the life from here. So when we pull the life from here, uh, we we'll send it to the boss bar. So each of them is gonna be a standalone unit, all right? So this two is gonna be independent of this two, and this two is gonna be independent of this two. So this is a unit and this is a unit. So let's pull this guy to the boss bar. So that's pretty much done, so we have the negative link to the boss bar and we have the life link to the boss bar. So let's do the second set of the parallel. So the second unit, so we've done one unit right now. So let's do the second unit. So it's pretty much the same thing. You remove this cover cap. That's what comes from it to protect it uh, while it's being shipped down. All right, so all the units are pretty much all connected now. All the batteries, everything's working now. All right, voila, not so difficult, was it? All right, so, but if you wanted the slave and master connection and you wanted to use one of the batteries as the master and the rest of the battery as the slave, all you need to do is to do the proper selection and the deep switch and show that you have the right numbers that would instruct this guy to command the rest and the rest of the battery is gonna obey his command. Okay, and also ensure that you have all the communication cables properly connected. All right, so the communication cables must have to be connected for this to happen. So this will get to control the rest of the battery. So you no longer have to turn on the batteries one after the other. Once you turn on the first one, which is the master, it will command the rest of the battery to turn on and they will definitely obey. So you'll see the numbers that are written on the deep switch. Do the right selection on the deep switch and it will command uh, the rest of the batteries from the master to the slaves to obey the command and they're definitely going to obey the command. All right, so let's turn off the master and see whether the rest of the slaves are going to obey the command. Let's do that. So you can see that all the batteries are all turned off, but I didn't have to turn all of them off one after the other. So all I did was to turn off the master and the rest of the slaves obeyed the command. All transmit their power to the junction box, which is the boss bar here. So all the energy is gonna be taken from this point to power the inverter, to power the charge controllers, to power whatever. So this is where all the power unit is gonna come from. Yeah, so my man up on the roof and laying the solar panel. So we have currently six on the roof and we have a whole lot to go because we have 18 solar panels, 465 watts. And so far it's just only six on the roof. Hopefully we get to finish today. All right, so that's what it looks like. So let's zoom in a little bit. Here you go. <laughs> All right, so. All right, finally we're rounding off. Everything pretty much is all done. All the solar panels laid. All right, so everything is done pretty much. All looking good. Yeah, I'm loving it. 
It's been a very hard long day fellows, but finally the installation is complete. All right, so everything is fully done. The inverter is in place. The batteries are all well connected, configured. The charge controllers are in place. The SPDs are connected to change over the circuit breaker controlling the panels. And if you guys will join me, let's turn on these devices for the very first time. Are you guys ready? Let's do it. Here you go. And it comes on all the way. The batteries are powered on right now, but the energy is not flowing into the inverter or the charge controller because I haven't turned on the circuit breaker. Are you guys ready? Let's do it. That's right. You got that? So everything is powered on right now. The charge controllers are good. They're working. And let's turn on the inverter for you. Here you go. Thank God, no explosion. So guys, let's check the energy generation that is coming from the solar panels right now. So let's zoom in. I am pretty impressed with the energy generation that we're experiencing right here, even late in the evening. We're generating almost half of the capacity of the entire solar panel, and that's pretty much very impressive, guys. All right, everybody, thank you so very much for being part of this. If you haven't subscribed, always remember, this is how you support us in this work that we're doing, and we fully appreciate it. Don't forget to comment, don't forget to share, and do not forget